<laughs> there we go. There we go. Recording in progress. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. And we're happy to have Maris back with us this week. Yes. Hey. <laughs> and Jerry, too. You're yeah, not in Palm your Springs. Nope, I'm back home. I was there from Monday to Thursday this week. I'm sorry, I interrupted home? Maris. Oh, I was just saying hi. Hi. <laughs> I my oh, mother. Sweater, Maris. Oh, thanks. Yes, I'm I'm behind, so I'm trying to catch up. My oh, mother beautiful. just went into memory care, so I'm dealing mm. with all sorts of stuff to close out her home and house and all of that stuff <laughs> and get her settled in. But I yeah. told Frank earlier, she's doing really well today. So. That's good. That's good. good. That is good. <laughs> that is good. I have done that. That's a big task. I oh, have to. Uh, yep. Well, luckily they had downsized once before and they were living in a townhouse. So no basement. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> just, good. That's oh. good. Yeah, just two bedrooms. So it'll be okay. We'll get it done. Well, we all welcome you back, Maris. We missed you. Thank you. <laughs> so welcome to everyone else. Hi, Rana. Hello. I love your sweater. Why, thank you. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Frank. Yeah, that's the brand new one that we haven't seen you yeah. wear. We heard you. I, you've held it up. Have you I've not, not seen, seen me wear it? I, oh, I'm I don't shocked. think we've seen you wear that one. I was uh, sharing it everywhere. I wore it everywhere for yeah. about three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, stand on up on in a minute. Saturday. Hi, Sumner. Hi. <laughs> Sumner, your name is iPhone today. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, I, I couldn't I'm going to move and I couldn't figure out how to get the Zoom going. So I'll be <laughs> Well, you're on. Today. Don't worry about it. We know you. <laughs> hi, hi, Jenny. Hi. <laughs> and hi, Walter. Hi, Frank. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Frank. So nice to see you all. <sighs> nice to see you. Kathy, I'm almost ready. I don't know. Can you see? I didn't even oh know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh wow. wow. Perfect. Oh, there we go. That, that oh, is wow. amazing. Oh, it was a, so pretty. It was a silver thread that you yeah. knit through this fabric. It made it so scratchy. I ripped it oh, all yeah. out. And right. I started this this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I had to wow. work today. So I didn't get a lot done. But <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a lot. <laughs> For me, that would be three days of work. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be like at least that, maybe more. Might be, be oh. about, might be about if I did it just from today, it'd be this little bitty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a very little, that's about an, Oh, an hour and a half. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness me. My Is it God. a cowl? Or it's gonna be a cowl, cowl, but the long way. So okay. the two open ends are gonna connect. Mm -hmm. And you're on four needles? Oh, yes. something? Five. Five. Oh, all right. Oh. Wow. So Maris. Gorgeous, yes. gorgeous. How would you graph together the two ends? Um going end to end like that yeah because you'll have to you'll have to because you'll be like a half a stitch off right um well they're gonna match like so the bottom and the top it's going to be probably four feet or three three feet long right and then but join but won't they be half a stitch off, Frank, when you graph them together like that? So it's this. Right. Oh, wow. But they don't give you they, instructions on how to put them together. They don't? Yeah. They don't no. talk about grafting at all? So they left out the really well, important parts. The Rowan magazine is very pretty. Not a lot of information. Yeah. You need to know how to knit. <laughs> It's like I would I would have to really look at it because I think you're going to be half a stitch off in the pattern going yeah. the top to the bottom like that. Right. So I, I was I think that's right. Thinking if I did like an active hem. Because I've hemmed sweaters together before. So mm -hmm. if I just knit it together 
on that last round, maybe. But I don't know. We're going to, I'm moving in two weeks. This is going to be three weeks anyway. So, <laughs> where are you moving? Um, a next town over. Oh, wow. But uh, much quieter. Not, not oh. as cute, not this mill apartment with, I have 14 foot ceilings. Oh, nice. My air conditioning bill is ridiculous. <laughs> I bet. That I believe. But my new apartment will have a deck. Nice. So which be quiet. Where, where, where do you live? I used to live in Watertown. Oh, okay. So I live on the Merrimack River. Oh, okay. Nice. In Northern Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. So right now I literally live on the river, but I'll still be in Merrimack Valley, but in Methuen. Okay. And then well, this is Kathy the Gage, and I'm going to make a sweater out of this one yeah. using your software. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. It, you you want to do a Franco, right? Oh, yeah, this is going to be a Franco sweater. Yeah, nice. Mm. Very nice. This is going to be so cool. With, yeah. with um, it's, it's going to have to have saddle shoulders. Well, I'm working, I'm starting that Monday, not tomorrow. But I think it's it's a perfect width of one of the Argyles mm -hmm. for a saddle to be the entire cap. Yeah. You know? You wouldn't want it any wider than that, but that looks nope. just about right. It's knit on fives. So about 18, 19 stitches is perfect. Mm -hmm. I can center it and mm -hmm. yeah. Franco, you created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> are you using I've knit Franco's four of his sweaters already? Are you, you using say? Franco's Intarja in the round? No, he hasn't published that one yet. Have you, Frank? The video's out. Okay. Yeah, the video's been out for a while. So um, you can go see how I do it. But the actual sweater is being published at the end of this month or the first of next month. Awesome. This is unless, a non-standard archive. Unless, no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, unless <laughs> oh, unless say? the editor hates it so bad that she won't put oh, it in the magazine. Oh That's God. never happened yet, so I don't know You're why. You're worried she about that every time, though. <laughs> about that. It's like, well, maybe she won't take it. But she always does. <laughs> That is so funny. Your work is, is amazing, that... Franco. Yeah. Come on now. Really? Oh, thank you. Oh, you have to say really? Of course yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just your cabling confident. is a bit insane. Uh, I'm not ever going to do one of your cable sweaters, I'm telling you. Really? That. Oh, cabling <laughs> is so much easier than what you're doing. It, it's really easy. I love cables. I've done fisherman sweaters. Yeah, that that kind of directional cabling. <laughs> hey, the, there are charts that tell you exactly what to do. I've I've never knit cable on a chart. Oh, oh. I've always done the old Irish printed. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Irish ones written all out. Written all out. Yep, they're written oh, all yeah. out. Rowan puts the, the, the patterns in there. But the thing I found with Rowan is you can't even read the little squares. They're so small. Oh, ridiculous. I had to yeah. publish. I had to, on my printer, make this right so that I could actually show this to Kathy. And so, Kathy, look at what I'm showing you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we can, then we can like somehow put it into, because when you buy the, the book, you can't download the pattern, so I can't even yeah. use my nitwits. Oh. Because you haven't spent enough on the damn book, you know? That's right. <laughs> oh. You could take a picture of it and upload it, too. You can do that. Um, but yeah, then, it won't, then it won't you know, when you upload your own pictures. It's not the same as actually writing it in the charting software. You don't get this much detail. So, but it's an easy chart. I mean, honestly, yeah, there's this huge, long, 76 round pattern repeat, and it really only needs to be 19 by 20. Yeah. Because you only need one argot. Yeah, because you're changing colors. You just. Right. Go, yeah. 
and this is done fair isle it's all stranded it's not traditional oh oh it's not oh. in charge of our guy this okay. is stranded uh, okay i because That's you're why it's so you're, fast your lines are thicker than just one single yes your your x lines are what they're wider than just a one line right i've got a double stitches. x line there you go so but that allows is, you to do it but there is a one stranded it appears there is a single uh stitch diagonal in the middle of all that um there is but um it's just because the double is the same color as the uh, right so the single is the gray going through it's just how they did the pattern uh -huh. um but it allows the it allows the stranding to work i oh. think if you did just one oh you wouldn't I be see. able to strand it then you would have a big long strand connecting just a single stitch here to a single stitch over there right that uh -huh. would never uh -huh. mm. and see do you these have go together do you have three colors on some rows no it's traditional okay. it's wow. two on two, only two so it's That's very amazing. true to Fair Isle. Mm -hmm. um, and you oh, don't yeah. have to catch floats because these wrong sides go together. And they'll all and they're be, gonna be oh, protected. They're gonna be together sure. permanently. Oh, so you're never you go. gonna catch a float. Mm -hmm. That's why it knits fast. It's like regular knitting. It's not. I still it's, think it's, that's it way faster than it, it I would not. do. It is very fast. <laughs> I was worried about it, but it is, it is, it will keep my attention. Because again, I have no attention span. <laughs> I love the colors. I Thank you. Yeah, cool. they're nice. They are great. And I checked out your website, Maris, that you recommended. Um, they were about $30 more than um, webs. So I did end up oh. getting it on webs because I got the discount. Okay because there was uh -huh. so much yarn that you buy, I got a 25% discount. And I got an email from them today saying that Northampton's on sale for like $5 and change a skein. Yeah, no, I, they're not that far from me. No. Well, they're, they're yeah. far. I mean, they're, they're an hour drive. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hour and a half, but yeah, when you go to their warehouse, they got some amazing, sales in their warehouse yeah oh so you can go in there oh yeah yes they got a huge wow. yeah facility <laughs> and they got a warehouse out back with yeah. it looks yeah. like home depot of yarn it's yeah ridiculous <laughs> my stash is full of uh when they have that sale <laughs> have you been down did you go down the street to hampton yarns i went to this time I went to Harrisville Designs in Harrisville, yeah. New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. They're about 45 minutes away. And they do um, that kind of natural woven breed specific sheep, mm. plus a lot of you know, Shetland and style, but they're pretty cool. Mm. I've talked I, enough, I'm sorry, everybody. I monopolize. I know. I, I talk on the phone for a living. I know every every time I go to webs, I at least drop three hundred dollars. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, <laughs> easy, especially oh. in the back there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Two of my Franco sweaters. <laughs> yeah, came from my visit to webs. Yeah. Well, the husband and wife team are very nice. Yeah. And they've done really well with how they manage COVID because I've been during COVID. Yeah. They did a really good job. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so there I go. Do you still have to wear masks in the States, outside and in public? Mm. We're going yes to the and stores, no. we do, yeah. Some what of the stores, doing? the business oh. owners can require you to. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think it depends on what state you live in. Yeah. California has loosened up a lot. Um, Have they? 
we still have to wear them when we get into taxis or Uber cars or something like that. And doctor's offices. And doctor's yeah. offices. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, us too. But restaurants, you go in a restaurant, you don't have to have a mask anymore. Yeah. Everybody's mm -hmm. wearing masks. Grocery store, about half the people are wearing masks. It's completely yeah. voluntary. Yeah, same here. But we keep hearing of this, these new strains that are rising in New York and maybe Boston. And yes. D.C. And yeah. D.C.? Oh, yeah, D.C. DC had a bunch of, uh, like, Nancy Pelosi and I don't know who all had tested That's positive. Right. Yeah, they all week. caught it. Yep. Yeah. We had 17 deaths yesterday from the new variant. Oh, wow. no. In That's Boston. Awful. Blimey. Not good. They don't talk about it in New York anymore because everybody's shooting everybody. Oh. <laughs> That's awful. That is. It is terrible. I did hear that guy got arrested today. Yes. So. What a maniac. I don't know what's going on. There must be something in the water. <laughs> well, they're shooting themselves in Boston too. You just don't generally get it on the national news. Well, we were talking about my sweater, so I might as well show it. All right. Yes. Oh, yes. The back is beautiful. Yes. I'll back up as much as I can and then stand up and move the chair. Wow. That's the front. Mm. And there's the back. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. And what was the name of the yarn that you used? This is. <laughs> is that a ribbing? Is that a ribbing on the bottom or not? The bottom hem, is it a ribbing? Yes. It's okay. my usual the ribbing, go except the I did a special thing in the front where the cable was. The cable went into, awesome. okay. Yep. That is very oh, that's nice. Great. Wow. That is very so, nice. Very clever. And the yarn uh, is? That was inspired by Suzanne Bryan, who talks about incorporating your cables into your ribbing. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, you asked what yarn it was. And I'm going to cheat and go look at the pattern because I, I, I'm just so terrible at remembering these things. I find that once we're done with something that we do forget the uh, gauge and the yarn and how much. Yes. And... Ah, yes. It was Biscott Yarns titled okay. DK Pure. That's the type of yarn that they call, I mean, the brand is Biscott Yarns and the selection, selected type of yarn that they sell is DK Pure. Thank you. I really like the yarn. It's, it's really nice. It has a very light um, halo, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. I think you can see it a little bit on my shoulder, but it's really nice. And I have something else to show you. This, I am working on a, a shawl collar for my next design. Yay! Uh, I did a, <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm going to put it on the website eventually when I get it. Oh, great! Um, and so I did a sample. Amazingly enough, I did it with leftover yarn from this sweater. So you don't be surprised at the color. <laughs> but, oh! Oh, oh, isn't that nice? It is. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Or that's my first attempt. And I think it's not deep enough down, down the front. So mm -hmm. I'm going to make it a deeper V and okay. do it again. But that's, that's the idea. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And Yay. I'm also going to try it using one by one ribbing instead of garter stitch. Um, the garter stitch worked okay, and it was really easier to knit, but um, I'm just trying out different things to see what I like the best. Mm -hmm. I've done two shawl collars. One was with a one-by-one one rib, uh -huh. and it, it 
it rolled very well. It like had a nice um, roll on the collar. Yeah. And it, I think you will really enjoy just the look of it right. um, because it's also, it'll match the ribbing in your cuffs and it, it just has a nice roll because you can see. roll it up and it will stand up uh -huh. in the back if it's cold out, right? So did you do really anything, nice. did you do anything to make the top half of the collar uh, looser or larger than the bottom half so it would fit, so it would roll properly that way? Yes, on the back of the neck. Yes. To the middle of each shoulder, you do short rows up to yes. here so yeah. that when the collar is up, it wants to stay up. Right. And, and But it's the same width all the way around. It just rolls nicely. Actually, I wasn't talking about making the, top, the back taller, which is what you described with short rows. The back is yeah. taller than the sides of the front, right? Yeah, with, okay. with short well, What I was talking about was, well, for instance, on this one, I, I was knitting around the collar from side to side. And once the short rows were done, I was going all the way around. And then I put in five extra stitches across the back and then kept knitting just to make the back, you know, where it, where it, it bends over. Yeah. This half is slightly larger in circumference than this half. I oh, that would yes. Make it uh, yep. lay flat better. So it yep. doesn't make the inside buckle. That's right. So yeah, I'd have to look. I same. don't recall. It's been about a year one? and a half since I made Thinking one. about um, maybe using um, a different size needles if I do it in one by one ribbing. And so I would start with the smallest size needle, needle then after I get part way up the collar, increase to a larger size needle and then maybe increase a second time to an even larger size so that the circumference of the collar keeps getting larger. Yeah, but that makes it sense. would be interesting to know if yours did that or did anything to compensate in that way, Sumner, because I'm not sure um, it's necessary. I would have to look at the pattern. Okay. Um, it was two by two rib all the way around. Oh, it was two so by it was two. Hard, oh. hard blocked like a hard block uh -huh. and it, it didn't shrink. It hasn't shrunk and it's pure Merino. It's not super wash. And um, the collar, I recall just the short rows to make the collar taller in the back. Uh -huh. um, the bottom had a square V. So one whole side went down and the other side tucked in. And and they were both the and the ribbing just went exactly horizontal at the bottom. Yeah, I can show you. I can go get it. I think I know where it is. Okay, it's pretty quick. I've seen I've seen other patterns that do it the way you're talking about, um, and I've seen, but most don't. I see. And. Most just re rely on the stretchiness of the rib ribbing to, to lay flat. Right. I but, wonder, yeah. But if it's really wide, you you would need some. You could also you could also do it. Um, you you would need some extra. I think even even with a pickup and going back and forth around type of collar. Mm -hmm. So my husband's quite a li little bit larger than me. So it's two by two all the way around. Keep and it up. I just got your full screen. One oh, by there one. you go. Uh-huh. And the back. Um, really the, long, isn't it? The, the, my, he's six, almost six foot. So. If you can see where I changed the needle size. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did change the needle size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, okay. And the then you went to needle, a larger needle? The larger needle starts, the smaller needle finishes. 
What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's the so opposite the row, of what I thought. The row is like that. That's but great. it stays up. Now, say over. again, did you say the smaller needle starts or the larger? Right, because I picked up with the same size needle as the rib. Uh -huh. That's here. Okay. And then when you're done about that much, then I went to the smaller size needle. Oh, the smaller size. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Wow. You can't see it when it's on, but a nice stretchy bind off on a one by one. And then the collar stands up on the back. Yep. Nicely. That pulls it in then and it makes it yeah, stand up. Yeah, it pulls up. it in. Oh. Right? Um, but it's like a raglan sleeve. See? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's so fascinating. Two years old. I love how the sleeves join. Yeah. That's it's a nice join. But yeah. Um, and the hold, hold up just the front real still. So the the ribbing at the bottom of the front. Hmm. Yes, one rib goes all the way across this this seam. All the way across. Okay. Sumner, isn't yeah. that too big for you? Can you put it on so we can get a better idea of the neck part? I can. If we just had some music for you. But I I love the the two by two rib and it really has stayed quite well. Yeah, because the smaller upper oh, part of great. the collar makes it supported. Yeah, that so the pulls back it in stage. enough to oh, support look it. How nice that is in the oh. back. Yeah. Wow. Cool. So that was a genius idea. This was a quick, quick knit for me. Even for me, it was quick. <laughs> God. Because it's us. just two by two rib. <laughs> Josh. Right? And it's one color. So it is quite big, but um, yeah. It looks great. Yeah. Chuck is it's Chuck great. is a larger guy. He, uh, he has a size 11 foot. I have an eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I am five foot seven. Yes, hey. I said that on the internet. My license says five eight. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, seems counterintuitive. You have the larger needle and then you go to the smaller. Well, I would not have thought that. So I'm gonna have to try it that. Gave I, it a little structure, I think, to keep it up in the back. Yeah. Do you remember the name of the pattern? Um, I'd have to dig it up. Um, I would really have to dig it up. I think it's That's on my okay. Ravelry. Frank, I think this is on my Ravelry. Oh, okay. It's under, you know, my Ravelry Summy? Yes. S-U-M-M-Y. I think it's on there. Let me see if I can find it. But this was one of the, interesting. the blocking mm. swatches that I've never blocked a swatch so long as this. Because they really recommend you block it hard and you carry it around for a couple of weeks in a bag and and then, then you measure it. Are you yeah, sure right. Suzanne Bryan didn't write the pattern? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually block it and then I'm just going, you know, knitting it, right? Um, I'm glad I did all that. And I really thought a two by two was going to shrink. And it didn't. And washing it and laying it flat to dry has it, it still has kept its shape from the original blocking. Awesome. I see. It's Summy's traveling man sweater. Yeah. 
by and Ann then Burke. There's a there's a pattern in there that for that shot call. I liked it. I, it was he wanted a shot caller. He's always hot, so he wanted something more open because he's the guy. He doesn't like a tie because his shirt. He has to button it. You know. I have uh, sworn off ties for the rest of my life. <laughs> and they're expensive too now. Are they ridiculous? What does the tie run now? About sixty dollars. <gasps> oh my god! My yeah, sixty to, 60 to one hundred and twenty. Yeah. They're outrageous. Even bow ties are like 45. Yeah. Wow. I love the that your background is also your mustache and beard. Yeah, yeah, that was so yeah, mine, yes. <laughs> That's my wisteria bush I had in the back. I took a picture of it years ago. Oh, it's beautiful. I know, I got to fix it. Everybody tells me my beard's my flowers, so. <laughs> Very distinctive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it took me a while to learn how to do that. I still have no idea. It's very it's, neat. It's yeah, I know. It's it's they don't make it easy to do. And it depends on the video ca capacity of yeah, your computer. That, I think also, that's why too. mine looks like it does because the video on this. This is an old computer. So. Yeah, because I have a Surface and it just does not work on that yeah. one at all. <laughs> Got to get one of the kids to come over and fix it. Oh, just there do this. Go. Yeah. How many are going to go to the next level conference? I oh, am. That was just on my mind. I am. Cindy, you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to be in the background yes. trying to uh, assist. Yep, I activated my Brella registration yesterday, so I'm all set. <laughs> oh, we can do that already. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just yeah, did you, it yesterday too. Oh, yeah, you should have gotten your email. I'll look. I haven't looked There's today. A link in it. Well, Cindy's going to have donuts in the conference room. Or did you call Krispy it Krispy Kreme donuts in the hospitality room? The hospitality room. Oh my! I'm trying to think of what you called it. I thought that's so funny. <laughs> yes, I placed an order for that, and and also that I'm not cooking or anything at all. It's like I'm here but not here, and so someone else will be bringing me meals. Aha! Uh -huh. wow. And I see not there doing, are. I'm not doing any laundry. I'm. <laughs> babysitting any grandkids for three days i'm gone good for you there are breakout rooms that will be open like almost 24 hours for those two days mm -hmm. <laughs> oh really for different yeah for different levels for the master hand knitting and then non-master hand knitting and so it should be a party all weekend <laughs> yeah they have wow. Breakout rooms for all sorts of different things, and you know, yes. so you can go and you can you can arrange to meet somebody there or do whatever. And, <laughs> and do well, that's a great idea. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is. It's really nice. And on the Brella platform, all the homework is there, and all the handouts, and of course, all the schedule and everything that you want. That's where Cindy. That's a, on the Brella platform under extra information. Oh. Who are you facilitating, Frank? Different um, people? Or? I, I don't think it's been assigned yet. Okay. Basically, what I do is I watch for people asking questions in the comments mm -hmm. and then tell the pre presenter, mm -hmm. 
here's a question you might want to address. Uh-huh. That should be fun too. Yeah, I did it last year. It's 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 nice. Yeah, Christina, um when I was getting ready to sign up with Brella, Christina had put up a little video that talks about it and with um Heather was on it also, and then another woman was Mary that was not one of the presenters, but she was a guinea pig for trying of how do you connect up and how mm -hmm. do you do that. And so that was really good as they walked through all the different features of the program because they uh, improved and changed some things since last year. When when was that, Cindy? Um, it was part of the email. It was one of them. If you want, you can watch this little video about Brella. So it was in the email yesterday. And the email came from TKGA? Yeah, and it, it, it gave my little code and said to, you know, go ahead and sign up. And it said, if you want information on Brilla, here's a little video. Let's see, we go to the, I won't be able to see you, but so I'll just stare at the screen while I read. <laughs> okay, welcome to TKGA's Next Level Knitting Conference. The virtual conference will take place on the Brella, Brella uh, virtual conference. Your personal code, I'm not going to tell you, is that. Click to go to log in. Um, if you've used Brella in the past, this will get you right in. If you've not used it, you'll be asked to set up an account. Blah, blah. Here is a quick video, it's a hot link, to give you a tour of the platform. Thanks to Mary for being our test subject. There are a lot of new features, and we recommend you log in before the conference so you can see the full schedule, find the handouts, and set up your profile. Cindy, would you forward that email to me so I can see how? Sure. They didn't. Apparently, they didn't send that email to the associate, the assistants. <laughs> I I didn't get it. Okay, no using my code, Frank. I won't use your code. <laughs> well they said if you do give your code to some, not to do that but if you do somebody else could get in and, and it would look like it was oh, you so if frank yes. does anything naughty i would get in trouble for it. <laughs> he's stealing your registration but conversely i guess if he does anything good i'll get credit so <laughs> there you go <laughs> I mailed it, Frank. Okay, thanks. Uh, Last no, weekend, weekend, I got already. to see. Yeah, it is next weekend, Friday. Um, Friday, Saturday, what? Sunday. Last weekend on Sunday, I got to go see Ron. In Bellevue, we actually got to meet in person. It was so fun at the uh, Vogue I saw Live that picture in Seattle. Oh, that is fun. It was really fun. I, I of course, had to buy a little bit of yarn. He was bear, uh, wearing his Franco sweater, the one uh, that he did the, the cardigan with all the different kind of colored stripes. It was beautiful. But he was wearing flip flops and <laughs> no socks so he was not quite dressed for seattle because it was about 34 that morning wow <laughs> it was 17 here this morning how about Ooh that we've only been about 33 34 or sometimes a little bit less with a little bit of frost but Maker spring. Well, the cherry blossoms are just beautiful here. And all the daffodils and the tulips, yeah. everything's out right now. Oh, really spring has sprung. It has sprung, yes. Yeah. Trying to. Well, none of my peas came up, but I don't know if it was because it's cold and wet or because the grandkid that planted them planted them a little too deep. So we went to the hardware store this morning and I got some little started plants and I'm going to stick them out. And so when she comes next week, it's just going to look like they sprouted. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. What a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> 
So something interesting has happened with me doing this Argyle. Yeah. I have completely fallen in love with continental knitting. <laughs> after, after 30 years really? of, of throwing. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Huh. I am. Hooked. I assumed you'd been continental knitting because you'd knit so fast anyway. No, I like. Well, you do that flicking. Carrie, I, I flick with my right hand, yeah. which is fast. And I still think I'm fast with my right hand. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm loving it. So with this that you're doing right now, you're using both hands, right? I'm using both hands. Yeah, yeah one like color very each hand. Yeah. Yeah. Which some people think is good and some people think is bad. And I don't know, my yeah. stitches are pretty even. So, yeah, so long as your stitches are even and your gauge is fine, you get to yeah. hold it however you want. That's the easiest way to control which one is dominant, is what I feel. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, can somebody please explain dominant? I've read about it and I get so confused and I don't understand. Okay, who wants to explain? Um, okay, I'll give it a shot since I've been doing a lot of research on it because of this. Good. So you keep your colors in the same hand. So throughout my entire project, my background color, which is the gray, mm -hmm. is going to be in my right hand. And okay, so background is in is on the right. In my, is in I, my right. I know not to cross the streams, but I never understand which one is dominant. <laughs> and then the color. So what ends up happening is my background color when I'm ready to switch if you could see it doing this way right, right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick the contrast take it off the background goes over never under goes over that leaves a parallel float in the back right, right. Mm -hmm. And they never cross, so my yarns, I never have to untwist them. Yeah. The color that's in my left hand, now, I do not see much of a difference. However, they are more profound, they're more profound, they, they show up better than if I were to do it in reverse. I did swatch it. And I do find that so the it is left, true. it's like the, the pattern, the part that you want to come out. Yes. Yes. The, the okay. left is what you want to pop for color, okay. whatever the color is. And the back is your base. The right is your base color. Okay. And so my dominant color is in my left hand because that's going to pop out more. Okay. Uh, I got that from Suzanne's video. I got that from other people's video, and there's one video on YouTube that's very funny that says the same thing in reverse twice, so he contradicts himself. <laughs> Whatever, because it's just <laughs> tried it. But you can put anything on YouTube. You don't have to know what you're doing. That's exactly. Just watch right. people try to cook. <laughs> like no, <laughs> no. Um. So yeah, and it does. It seems to. Seems to work. So the background falls in the background and the foreground is up front as far as visually. Okay. Maybe so slightly here, larger stitch. Mine is pretty equal. But it's still true that the dominance is in the left hand. Okay. You don't here's one, actually one. need to know this, but um, what happens is the one in your left hand always passes under the one in the right hand. Um, both going into the stitch and coming out of the stitch, okay. going into the color change and coming out of the color change. It's yep. underneath. Um, people try to explain why that means that means it, it becomes the dominant one. The explanations have never really made sense to me, so I'm not going to try to repeat them because I probably would get it wrong anyway. But, but the effect of holding it in the left hand 
when you're doing two-handed knitting is that it's it consistently passes underneath the other one and so they don't cross and it is consistently in the position where it becomes the dominant color which means the stitches are just slightly larger than they would be otherwise and if you see a good contrast of somebody who has knitted the same swatch and used and swapped the dominant color from one swatch to the other, it becomes real apparent that um, the, the stitches that are supposed to be dominant when they're held in the right hand, that sort of <coughs> seed into the fabric more. Okay. Roxanne Richardson has a swatch where she does that. Uh -huh. I, th I think Suzanne does too, but Rox I love Roxanne Richardson. I do too. Followed her longer than I knew Suzanne even did videos. Oh. And I think Suzanne's done way more videos, but it just happens to be who you come across, right? That's right. If you look at the yarn traveling um, from stitch to stitch, this, the yarn that's in your left hand is a longer piece of yarn than the one that's in the right hand. Mm -hmm. The one that's the dominant, the, the color that comes underneath has to travel a little bit longer distance. So uh -huh. it uses more yarn also. And, yeah. and because it's using more yarn, does that give it more freedom to make a larger stitch or something? I don't know. That's the part I don't, I don't understand. Why does it See, This was that I never quite larger. understood. Or yeah. if it maybe it maybe if it comes a little bit <laughs> forward, I don't know. Yeah, you know, maybe the one with the tighter bit of yarn it is pulled back a little bit. I don't know, but it is obvious if you do it both ways. So you don't want yeah. to mix them up. That's right. Yes. Well, I just I I was doing this the stay tripper and I did I'll hold it up and I I did this is the inside and I did just do uh, I, I knew to keep the left one in the left and the right one in the right, but I never really understood why or what it was I just knew the thing that Suzanne's group had talked about and joked about like Ghostbusters it's like don't cross the streams whatever you do oh. you know the right yeah, one stays yeah. on the right and the left one stays on the left but I didn't understand which one it was just like okay I'm gonna make the oatmeal be on the right and the other one but I didn't know which one I was doing but I I did choose correct oatmeal was the background color so that one was on the right and the others were so I I guess I had a 50-50 chance of being right. So Correct. that's good. Well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, which level do we do this in? Is it level two? Level two. Level two. It's it's level two, and that's why I was trying to to get ready. I see. Because I had had never. Well, I did that one little silly Scotty dog swatch in Suzanne's oh, boot camp, yeah. but I never did anything else. In level two else. is where you do the wristlet. Yes. Ah, yes. Uh, yes. And I keep hearing people say they had to do it multiple, multiple times, but not that your many. Your floats are beautiful. You I just come I across them. Thank you. Fine. Thank you. So <laughs> well, I hope they'll take my colors. I got all sorts of fancy colors. But I was very good. I didn't get any heathers and I didn't get any that I think were too dark. I got quite a few light ones, but good contrast. Sounds right. I did and if try you've to ever follow the directions. Well, you did try to follow the directions? I do try to follow oh, the directions, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is why you passed level one so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> if you've and ever I, watched I, Ar Ar Arnie and Carlos, they say there is no yarn dominance, but they they knit with one strand, they drop it, they pick up and yeah, knit. so mm -hmm. they do. But that's slow. That's too slow for me. Yeah, it would drive me crazy. Well, I wouldn't do it. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a little different way of, of doing it and just a whole different. Uh, the more that I read and study about the knitting, and I got a bunch of new books this week, and I love them. But yeah. it's like there's so many things to learn. And there's so yeah. many different ways that people have, have done similar, you know, the knits and the pearls. And just the way that they carry that they tension that they put the needle that they hold the needles i mean yeah there's there's a lot of variation and mm -hmm. it's like 
as long as you're making your stitches good, it's fine. Yes. And I think Arnie and Carlos make the assumption that there's only one way to knit. Yep. Yeah, they do. <laughs> there's. <laughs> um, now, I have Which loved- Which is prejudiced. It, a little bit. Yeah. Um, I've loved Norwegian purling. I find okay. it a lot of fun, but I'm not sure that my tension on a stockinette is good enough to be a Norwegian knitter. Yeah. Right, because I just started it. Yeah, um, doing doing that pearl stitch is quite quite a challenge. You get into yeah. doing it. So, I'm good at thing, it. I, it yeah, I do a, it too occasionally. It's, the yeah. other thing that I've seen is it's so different depending on the yarn that you're using. Yeah. And so it could very well be that the yarn that they are using, which is that particular kind of. Uh, it's it's got more grip and tooth to yeah. it than a lot of the stuff that we use. It it just tensions a little bit differently. Mm. The, the stitches are a little different, so it makes sense that that would be that way. Mm -hmm. And you yeah, know, sometimes yeah, it's almost like, a little bit like a loppy. Yes, it's it is very rough. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Really grip. Now, yeah. I love that type of yarn. <laughs> oh, it's I really, love it's really yarn. nice, but mine is there's different techniques that, that work for different things. Absolutely. And, um, you know, if you're doing a really soft merino or something with silk or uh, camel or alpaca or something, it's it's going to knit your a little different. tension's going to be different. And your, mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. me, even different needles for stuff like that. If I'm doing something with a silk in it and whatever, it's like, give me a wood needle, please. And the rest of the time, it's like, no. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm just like sliding all around. Right. Frank? Yes. Uh, this is Rana. Hi, when Rana. you do yeah. your extensive cabling on some of your sweaters. How do you figure the amount of yarn when it's probably a third to two thirds? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I just, good I get, I, <laughs> I do an estimate for the stockinette stitch and then I just add several skeins. <laughs> ah. it's, you know, nothing scientific about it um okay. like this sweater this sweater doesn't have that much cabling it's not an all over cable so i probably added one skein or maybe two just to be safe mm -hmm. to the estimate for a plain stockinette sweater do you swatch your gauge for cable um yes because I need to compensate for the pulling in of the, the cable. The shrinking, yeah. So you swatch the cable, find out how wide it is, and then um, you compare that to the number of stockinette stitches that would be that wide. And there will be more stitches in the cable than there would be for stockinette that that's wide. So that's yeah. how many stitches you have to add to your pattern to, mm -hmm. to be able to use that cable and not have it pull the sweater tighter. Yeah, since that shawl collar, I'm a big swatcher because it made a ton of difference. What did you swatch the entire that, when I When I started, so a couple, I didn't really always swatch and block and all that, but that mm -hmm. shawl collar sweater, since then, um, I swatch and I block and I let it dry and I wait a couple of days and then I measure it. Uh -huh. And I've been really, really happy with the results because <laughs> <laughs> I'm always having the right amount of yarn and the size is fitting. Well, you so. give yourself the best chance of success when you've done that. Otherwise yeah. it's kind of like, you're just guessing that right. it truly is. It's so like, well, I think it'll be. Um, Right, and it's expensive it's like, yarn. This is an expensive hobby. It mm -hmm. is. That has become very expensive. Yes. Yeah. When I first I took it up, it's... when I was when I first um, took it up seriously, when I was about thirty-five years old, um, I knitted for about a year, and I thought I was knitting to save money, 
And <laughs> oh, yeah. I quickly learned that I was not saving money. The cost of the yarn was like the cost of the sweater, even mm -hmm. if I bought cheap yarn. And people say, I'll pay you to make a pair of socks. And I say, okay, I'll take a hundred dollars. A hundred? I'd say a thousand. It's fast. So I can make a pair of socks in two days. Oh, oh God. my goodness. Right. And I'll take a hundred dollars <laughs> because how much do you make an hour? Right? And you're not paying me 50 cents an hour to make a sock. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> for two days of knitting, that's just barely over 50%, 50 cents. <laughs> oh, right. That, right. It's, yeah. I mean, that's a good, that's a good 10 hours of knitting oh, or, nice. or 12, right? And, and yeah, no. And then they, they always, well, well, literally, come on now. I'm making yeah. minimum wage, $7.50 an hour. That's what I'm making to make your socks. So stop it. <laughs> yeah. I've made one pair of socks for somebody and they paid me a hundred dollars. Wow. That's not right. Wow. Were they I happy my with socks the socks? Away to my sister and stuff, but I had some, one person take me up on it. Oh, you were serious. Oh, I'm not kidding. Oh, I, I just... And then they buy the yarn. There's no way I would sell a sweater. I couldn't get enough money for a sweater that I made. Mm -hmm. At ten dollars an hour, it would probably cost ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh no, you're faster than that. Now I've made one sweater on commission. They paid me three fifty, and they bought the yarn. That was twenty years ago. Wow. Did the person you knit the socks for want another pair? Um, well, they, funny enough, they asked for another pair because they were cashmere socks and they wore out. Mm. <laughs> but I made them nice. by the cashmere too on top of the 90. Mm. The 90 was for my labor. Yeah. Yeah. And the yarn's 50 bucks. Were they just cashmere or cashmere and nylon or something? Um, cashmere and nylon. It was, yeah. um, it was a blend. It was like 20% nylon. I see. So it was. They were lovely. Fair. And they were fun to make. I mean, they just buzzed right up. You know, they were cute. But to spend two days not knitting for what I want to do, yeah, you're paying me. <laughs> well, they were just vanilla socks, right? Some of them. Yeah, they were just yeah. um, cat boardy. I love cat boardy. I get yeah. lost to the knitting community. Right? Oh, you What's know, cat what an amazing right. woman. Oh. She got me knitting socks. Yeah. What's her name? Cat, cat boardy. Cat boardy. K A T. She got me started. Um, knitting on two circular need needles. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and I just fell in love. And this was 25 years ago. Yeah. And I can't even tell you how many dozens of pairs of her socks I make because it's a recipe. It's not a pattern. Knitting on two circles are good. It's yeah. fast. Yeah. And you never drop in a needle. No. You can throw it in a bag, take it out, knit on the yep. train. Well, we're right at the end of the hour. Does somebody have something they want to show us before we close? Nothing yet. Jenny, what are you working on? Um, I'm I'm I've gone to the dark side. I'm crocheting, not knitting. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a proud Wow! Beautiful. 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 It's gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Beautiful. I love your colorway. Yeah, Thank you. It's, um, it's one of those um, cotton ones with, with three strands that changes color as it goes along. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, isn't that yeah. lovely? Yeah. Very nice. Good for you. And how long have you been working on that? Um, just, just um, I started on Monday. My God. She's fast yeah. too. Yep. Yep. That yep. is awesome. Crochet grows a lot quicker, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You'll have to show it to us after you block it. Yes, it, the, yes. the pattern will come out. Yes. Yeah. So I should That's have it right. finished in about a week, I think. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Anyone else? No. Okay. Not yet. No. <laughs> Kathy says <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> Kathy, I'm going to email you. <laughs> okay, good, Sumner. Yeah, All right. 
And I'm well, then we'll say goodbye. All right. Good night. All right. Have a good week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.